In this video we're going to in deal with inverse variation. So when we're told y varies inversely with the square, so we do want to pay attention to that there, of x, we can set up a relationship y equals k over x squared. Okay, This is inverse variation, so k is still our constant of proportionality as always, and because it's inversely proportional, the x actually goes on bottom and it was the square of x, so it's an x squared. So what happens now is x increases, y actually decreases, so there's an inverse relationship between the variables, hence the name. Now we'll use this information to find k, because we know that y equals 10 when x equals 2, so we get 10 equals k over 4, so we can cross multiply that 4, and we get k equals 40, and we now have a formula relating the two. So we have a function, which is actually a power function. So y equals 40 over x squared. And to see it as a power function, I could, if I wanted to, write it as 40x to the minus 2. And we can see we have a power function um, with a vertical stretch of 40 and an exponent of negative 2. Now, the other part is we're asked to find x when y is 20. So we have 20 equals... 40 over x squared. All right. So what I'm going to do is cross multiply the x squared, so I get 20 x squared equals 40. Divide both sides by 20. I get x squared equals 2. And last step is to square root both sides. And I get x equals rad 2 but now we have to be careful because x is being squared, we want to account for both the positive and negative, so we actually have two answers to this one. Which is okay because this is the input of our power function. So it's okay that we have two inputs that have the same output, so it's still a function.